I missed those guys already. That was a whole squad of people who didn't need to die. I should not have moved them so far forward. And the last guy dies when the mortar manages to take out that stupid car. But um, on the plus side, my T-34s are so far unmolested, and they do manage to get a shot in. These just have such huge guns, 88 millimeter cannons. That is as big as a Tiger's gun. Gigantic guns, gigantic caliber, so um, they have no trouble at all killing mass amounts of people. I'm killing paratroopers and machine guns who are trying to cross uh, with this T-34. Um, unfortunately, it turns out my opponent's got Yacht Panzer. So, uh, full-scale retreat is <laughs> the order of the day, but he only took out the turret, and the thing is, you can still fire, like, you just can't move the turret, so, um, uh, managed to kill a rifleman, who I believe was riding on the top of that T-34. Um, so now, um, I'm firing at him, and luckily my ally, being very awesome, moves up his tank destroyer, and the combined fire of the SU-100 tank destroyer and the T-34 take out the Yogg Panzer, and now I have two T-34s with broken turrets, but that's okay, they're still fire support, um, bases, and more importantly, they're providing overwatch for my submachine gunners who are moving in very slowly, and oh no, the mortar's back, and I'm like, oh god, not the mortar again, so I just immediately start sprinting towards him with all my people, and um, luckily he is not quite quick enough on the draw, and I get in, and kaboom, good night, oh, but he's quick enough on the draw to get the sandbags up, but I'm quicker, and my people aren't dead, and now I have a brand new mortar, so that's awesome, although it did cost me like four people, um, for, it cost me three people. And I can't really get the mortar out of this pit. I believe it's stuck in the sandbags <laughs> once you set those up. That's kind of a one-way trip. Um, you notice this very important thing. I originally said I lost four people taking the mortar, then I corrected myself. I said I lost three. It's because I sent five people to attack the mortar, and I sent this one guy into the flag capture zone. And that's all it takes when there's nobody in the capture zone. You take it back. Like, like this one guy I diverted is going to um, make a pretty big difference because he manages to take the thing. And so right now my T-34s are being repaired. I'm uh, scavenging every single piece of infantry I can. And I'm just moving them all to the front. And we've taken the middle. We're taking the left. Um, looks like my mortar's going to go down, but not before taking someone with him. And these guys actually stop to fire at it, which is not a fantastic idea. I lose another dude to that. And so at this point, I'm trying to preserve every single one of my infantry, because like I said, this is all in. I'm like out of people. And luckily, it looks like they're out of people too, or at least I haven't seen anything super heavy lately. So I'm hoping my T-34s are not going to have much trouble um, taking out the rest of his stuff. As long as I don't get too close, as long as I don't do any stupid, like, driving really close to get hit by an AT grenade, I should be good. So uh, we'll see how this works. And you see I'm moving up my riflemen from the very beginning of the game just to uh, get a foothold on this front uh, point. And so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the points, but they still have 500 points versus our 250, so we'll see in the next 12 minutes how this goes. And boom, managed to take the Puma out, and I'm backing up this T-34 on the left because he was trying to get close, and my tanks are too valuable to let me uh, risk them. So I'm moving back immediately once I see them, and you see these T-34s just shelling at each opportunity, and I'm firing an armor-piercing shell, um, at that mortar, but it turns out someone else has it taken care of, and he's getting artillery. But the mortar's still there, and still shelling my people, and uh, this could be really bad if the mortar wipes out basically the rest of my remaining infantry, but um, it's pretty inaccurate, and I managed to take it out. Only losing one dude, because I repositioned. If I hadn't repositioned, I would have lost a lot more dudes, but you always got to be on the move. SU-100 is a Rambo tank crew. I guess that guy's microing his tank crew somewhat. Um, crazy stuff happening on the right, and we have no idea what's going on because I'm busy on the left. That's where I've been the entire game. I guess I did set those people off to the right one time. Um, so yeah, now I'm just like tooling around with my T-34s repositioning, and I'm like, you know, we <laughs> there's 11 minutes left. We're down by 200 points. The points aren't ticking up super fast. If I can take this point over here, uh, things are going to go a bit better. So uh, I don't have a lot of people, and I'm just going to do the best I can. That guy's prone, so he's not going to get killed by the tank crewman, and, and he's going to wait until the T-34 can do it. Turns out my ally is sending some help, too. But um, at this point, basically everyone is out of points, and uh, so it's just a matter of picking off units and seeing if we can pull the win out from defeat. And uh, we take out a panther, and that's super important. I think with the end of that panther, that's going to be pretty much all their heavy armor. Oh, but uh-oh, it's a Hetzer. This is not good. Um, hopefully my T-3485 will be able to take out the Hetzer, but uh, we'll have to see if I'm able to do it. Oh, he's driving straight. At, um, looks like we have a ton of stuff. Um, do not manage to get the Hetzer. I was aiming sort of at the track, and boom, ISC-152, that's an artillery tank destroyed, but he's got two of them, and they were just like backed up and rushed out of traffic, and that Hetzer is destroyed six ways to Sunday. Um, the SU-100 kills again. Um, I guess that was a hero, SU-100. 
that he was talking about is just killed a bunch of tanks. And I do lose one more submachine gun infantryman, but at the cost of an opponent's assault infantry, so that's good. And um, so it's looking pretty bad for them. We've managed to take all but one of the points. Oh, but look on the mini-map, this point is theirs now. Um, so at some point he snuck some infantry behind our lines and took that. And that's annoying because it looks like with 10 minutes left we're going to be able to win. But if they keep doing that, um, it's not going to be so good. So my ally's pointing this out, saying, hey, look, they've taken this point. And I'm like, yeah, 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 I'm on it, I'm on it. Um, swiveling my AT gun and heavy machine gun around because I don't want to take any losses. Like, you know, you see, I'm out of points. I can only buy, like, tank crewmen, basically. And the, yeah, in fact, I have one point. So, uh, yes, thank you, Harry Caesar, I know. Um, but yeah, sending one little Refman dude to uh, take the point back and gonna use my heavy machine gun to provide fire support. And this is uh, this is down to the wire. But we're at 400 points, they're at 500, and unless they pull some magical stuff out of their ass, um, it's gonna be over.